a concentration camp, a tower of skulls, and a freaking fortress. None of these things did I expect to find in the third largest city of Serbia. But they are here, and for 300 dinars, you get access to them. But let's start with breakfast. I don't know what this place is Marie's taking me to, but it's called the Pleasure Center. Let's see what this looks like. We're at the Pleasure Center. <laughs> the pleasure. We make your dreams come true. Yeah. Like a nice warm coffee that I haven't had today. <laughs> <laughs> that breakfast was definitely pleasurable. It's an awesome spot for some traditional food. But now back to things that I didn't expect to find, like a payphone. I haven't seen one of these things in years. Or modern buildings with an old architecture face. I love seeing this design everywhere we go as it preserves the old but also mixes the modern architecture. You can see more of this in our Instagram. And this is one of the main areas of niche on Obrenovicheva Street. Probably I'm pronouncing it wrong, so forgive me for that. Now here you can find tons of shops, bars, and cafes. And just a little bit further up, you'll see King Milan Square, the Nishava River, and the entrance to the fortress. I'm gonna warn you now, there's a lot of walking because inside is huge. But you get to see some incredible historical sites for free. And it's a beautiful walk. Oh my gosh, what did I just say? I'm so proud of you. I'm not. I'm gonna go wash my mouth with some soap. You got me talking dirty out here. Anyway, inside the fortress is where you will find cafes, restaurants, museums, theater, and even a zoo. And behind it, you will also find a transit concentration camp. This is where they will place Jews, Romani, and Serbs before taking them to Auschwitz. So many sad stories and so many people from different backgrounds that were heard during that time period. There is also this place that's called Skull Tower. And for me, that's still just crazy to say and even crazier to witness. But the Ottoman Empire created this to send a message to the rebels. Now, once Serbia took over the Ottomans, you would think that they would have taken the skulls down. But instead, they kept it as a display of pride for rebelling against the oppressor. And that is something that you can actually see in Serbia all over, their sense of pride. Niš is a city that is filled with great people, amazing history, and dangerously delicious food. I mean, with so many kafanas and restaurants, you can't go wrong. Unless you don't make a reservation, and it's a Friday night, and you're in Niš. Still, just going through that camp is just... I hated it. How do we find time for that type of stuff? How can another human do that? To another human. Like you have this beautiful sun over there, beautiful clouds, all this here to be amazed by. And just try to figure out what the hell all this is. Yeah, we can find time to work for each other. But the same thing. The only constant in here is that we are people. <laughs> 